Kinky Tail was an absolute specimen of courage and power. He was the ultimate war machine of the legendary Lion Coalition of the Mapohas. Because of this, he earned the name Shaka. Shaka means power. Shaka was the name of a Zulu tribal leader from the early 19th century who shaped a group of tribes into the Zulu nation of Southern Africa. Kinky Tail, the epitome of what a lion should be. On June 8, 2010, Mr. T and Kinky Tail mercilessly killed one of the Majingalani intruders. The ferocious brother killed him and started eating him alive. During the same night, the four incensed Majingalanis avenged their brother's murder. The Mapohas paid a high price for killing the fifth Majingalani. The loss of a brave warrior, of property, and of progeny. In the autumn of that year 2010, one of the Majingalani caught and smothered to death a princely subadult. That young lion prince one day would have become King Shaka. Kinky Tail and his famed brother Mr. T aka Satan were two of the notorious coalition of six male lions that have roamed the better portion of the Sabi Sands Game Reserve for the last four years and monopolized its lionesses and buffalo. Named as the Mapohas, they have delighted the humans of this wilderness area with their presence. Male lions all come with the territory but this has been a special time for us and we've been spoiled with this abundance of power and largesse. It's been a long time since all six males were together. For have made the western sector their home whilst Kinky Tail and Mr. T have managed the eastern frontier. Most of the trackers at Londolozi will tell you that they were overextended, too far from the comfort of numbers and in danger of running into another coalition coveting their land and lionesses. As usual their instincts were spot on and the inevitable trouble arrived. The Eastern duo have been fighting a running battle with five new males from the Kruger who have steadily been advancing into the territory. A few nights ago Kinky Tail and Mr. T cornered and killed one of the intruders. Undaunted by their loss, the remaining four rested up for the day and exacted revenge the following evening by killing and then eating Kinky Tail. This is how the event unfolded. According to the eyewitness report of Karen, from the Nkoro Bush Lodge. Our greatest fear was what is about to happen. During dinner time all hell broke loose and they took on one another. Loud roars and growls filled the air. Looking out my door trying to find out what was going on, I saw Jason. All excited, he came running towards my door, shouting Karen, come, they are fighting. Jumping in the vehicles we followed them and watched the lions charging over the open area, through the dry river bed and then chasing down the road. Not far away the four males got hold of Kinky Tail. This is where the real war and nightmare started. It was four against one, as Mr. T was nowhere to be seen. They pinned him down and the fight was getting fierce and gruesome. The sounds of immense power filled the African skies. It cuts like a knife through your body. I was shocked to the bone. How could this be happening? Suddenly Mr. T appeared from the dark, charging into the hot action without any fear, in desperation to try and defend his brother. Proud, powerful and fearless he gave it his everything but they were just too strong and he was hurt. He turned tail and fled to save his own life. The four males chasing him down the road for a few hundred meters. Running and roaring he disappeared deep into the darkness. One of the Majingalani lion was biting at his neck, another at his back, the third bit off Kinky Tail's testicles and genitalia. The Majingalanis managed to successfully snap Kinky Tail's spine, thus immobilizing him and leaving him with zero chance of survival. This is the sound of Kinky Tail's spine been broken. Two Majingalanis attempted to track Mr. T, but were unsuccessful. The four males returned then to a badly injured Kinky Tail where they showed him no mercy and finished him off. Sending a message of dominance and power they started roaring, like only the king of the animal kingdom can. <laughs> The 
doors were filling my body with fear. Disgust, but also respect for this powerful, majestic animal. Roars of triumph and dominance vibrating deep into the night. An era just came to an end. Kinky Tail, the war machine of the Mapohas, is no more. New blood, new rulers. He was seen taking his last breath while being eaten alive. He was killed the very same way how he and his ferocious brother Mr. T killed one of the Majingalani male. During the encounter, Kinky Tail and his brother Mr. T attacked four new coming lions first, the Majingalanis. And in the first stages of the fight, they were winning. The four new coming lions run away and Kinky Tail and Mr. T were chasing them. Suddenly Mr. T disappeared and Kinky Tail continued to chase the four new lions away. When the four new lions realized that Mr. T was not there they turned around and attacked and killed Kinky Tail. It is important to note that Mr. T's disappearance in the middle of the fight is totally abnormal, and it is believed that humans were intervened and darted and sedated Mr. T. Kinky Tail and Mr. T were very violent lions and had killed or chased away hundreds of lions. The local people were very unhappy because the lion population had diminished considerably and wanted to get rid of them. So this was a great opportunity to finish them off. After the death of Kinky Tail, Mr. T did not go to the west. He roared for his brother at the gates for two days non-stop. He then went to protect and defend the Tsalala pride and he and Kinky Tail's cubs. On the 29 the four Majingalanis came for Mr. T. Mr. T fought them alone again and two cubs were killed. They could at four not kill Mr. T. He was battered and bruised, and then he went to the west side to rejoin with his four remaining Mapoho brothers. Mr. T stayed around Juma for one more day then he moved south to Mala Mala, but in June 10, 2010 he went back to Juma to look for Kinky Tail. We believe he visited the exact spot where Kinky Tail died. Then he moved again back to Mala Mala to protect the sticks and the Sparta pride, he had a brief fight with the four Majingalani but managed to escape. Then he went to protect the Tsalala pride. This time the fight was more fearsome. He stayed longer, he fought, he got injured and then he escaped again. The Majingalanis were chasing him all the way to the west of Londolozi until June 29th. Mr. T stayed in the east trying to save his pride for about three weeks. 